you're thinking about either buying or selling a home, what does the market look like during this pandemic? AJ Ferroni, realtor with the Rosemary Ferroni team, joins us to get a glimpse into the market. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. How are you? Great, Bob. How are you? Good. Well, the pandemic certainly hasn't uh, hurt the real estate biz, has it? It has not. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, where, what's the snapshot right now? Uh, how's inventory? Is seller's market, correct? Seller, seller's market, yes. But if uh, this segment could help even one buyer uh, fulfill their buying needs, I think that uh, it would be worthwhile. Uh, right now, we're seeing money is cheap. Uh, if you use $4 per thousand, so the bank gives you $1,000, you're paying $4 for it monthly. Um, and also the buying power of the buyers has increased. Um, and you're also seeing that uh, they, they literally, there's no immigration coming in right now. So they're not competing with people that are immigrating to Canada at this time. Right. Uh, but some region hopping, so to speak. The pandemic has been a factor in many ways. And one of them is that uh, with people working from home, the commute's not as much of a factor. So are you seeing a lot of business, uh, new business and people coming into the market, setting up shop here? We are. And we're also seeing people that have equity in their home, taking the equity from their home and upsizing uh, people that need an extra bedroom, somebody that needs a home office, uh, somebody that would like a luxury backyard. I mean, we're seeing 1.2 million for a house that doesn't even have granite or quartz in it, uh, but the backyard is done with a pool and people are ready for that in case the pandemic continues. Yeah, what are some of the other trending needs right now? Trending needs right now, uh, again, would be the, the, back, the backyard, uh, an extra bedroom that they could use as a, a den or an office. Um, and people are just making those moves because they have equity in their home. Yeah, you mentioned some of the prices that actually have made national headlines in, in Hamilton with the bidding wars. Um, there's uh, increased income, but it is tough these days for first-time home buyers, isn't it? Even with the cheap money. It, it is. It is for the down payment. Uh, but if they take the CMHC insurance fees, uh, it's not that bad of, of, of an issue. If you think about it, a $500,000 mortgage, uh, people are paying about $2,000 a month for that money. Uh, the majority of the money, more than half of it, is going towards principal, and half is going. The other half is going towards interest. I mean, think back four years ago when people had that half a million dollar mortgage. The first payment wasn't half of it wasn't going to principal. And if you see the chart there, the chart there just shows that by year, if we went up one percent per year, you'd be paying about two hundred fifty dollars more a month. And I think this. People get scared when they don't know what's going to go on. But if they see this chart, they might say, well, yeah, my payments are going to go up by $250 a month, but I'm also paying down my equity of my home and my home has appreciated. We're, we're up 15.8% in January and we're already up the, uh, for February 8%. Uh, does it continue to look like it's going to trend that way? It does. Maybe not at those numbers, but it's going to head that way. Yeah. Now, with these crazy bidding wars, a lot of people, you know, they, they want to come in with a clean offer. That means tossing the home inspection how much is that how often is that happening and how bad is that well it happens quite often and uh to be honest with you the the research shows that home inspections are showing between five thousand and eight thousand dollars worth of issues on the majority of homes uh, if it's a new build you won't see that so five thousand eight thousand uh in issues that you can take care of yourself down the road if it's immediate or not um they, they still go for it you know our our leader of our company says that to buy your dream home, you, the first step is to buy your first home. So you got to get into the market. You got to get into the game, get on the field. And if you get on the field, you can win or lose. If you're not on the field, you can't win or lose. You need to get into the game. Perhaps if you don't get in the game, we're going to see what's happening in Europe where, you know, you live below your parents and then your brother or sister live below you. And it just goes on and on from there. We're already seeing it in the city, the bungalows, one story bungalows, the city's allowing under certain regulations that they can be duplexed right now. And then what happens mm -hmm. down the road? Are we going to see the, the, the one story home go to a two story home and then the families are all going to live with each other? We, we think people need to get in the game now. Yeah, well, there's more uh, great advice on getting into the game at uh, the Rosemary Ferroni team website, which we'll link at chdh.com. So good to see you, AJ. Hi to Rosemary. Hi to Rick. We're trying to find them. Yeah, where's Rick? <laughs>